Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, I got a new uh, box to do my videos on, and I just kind of wanted to do a test here, just a short video. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and get into something a little different. And this is just going to be a little Windows 8 uh, tutorial. A um, bunch of my clients got Windows 8 uh, last week. Windows 8 came out, and um, well, I'd say about four or five people. And um, they all had a couple common questions. You know, when you log into Windows 8, you're presented with this crazy screen here. It's very tabletish, um, and you kind of wonder why you have this screen because you don't have a tablet; you have a computer, so you're still using your mouse to move around and select things like that. Um, but you'll notice that when you come into here, uh, you just have this, and if you want to go to your desktop you have just this basically. I have Thunderbird installed because I'm getting ready to do some reviews and I want to test some some spam malware stuff. But anyway, um, there's no start button here. Uh, there's no computer control panel, none of that stuff. So, you know, you're left with these crazy corner kind of things. Like you can click up in these different corners like down here on the sides. Um, let me try to go to full screen here. I have a new version of VMware too, so I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Okay. Um, so you're left with, you know, you can click up here to the top. You've got some things right here, stuff down here. It's it's very foreign to to regular home users for sure. Um, most of the questions I got were, where's my control panel? How do I, you know, sh sh shut down, restart, that kind of thing. Um, how do I change these guys up? And I'll just go over those three real quick. Um, and like I said, this is a test video. I just want to make sure the audio is all synced up because I have a new audio card and stuff. So anyway, if you want to go ahead and find your control panel, um, you can right click down here and go to all apps. And then you're going to see all your different little apps over here and then all the built-in Windows apps that you're probably used to over here. So we can, let's see, we can select a control panel and we can pin this to our start. So that way, so basically what I did, I, I did that a little too fast. Uh, let's do computer two. I, I moved over computer, I right click using my right mouse button, right clicking, coming down here and print and pinning to my start menu. So now when I come down to here, I have computer and I have control panel. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of like an extra step involved to get everywhere. I, mean, I think Windows 8 is pretty and stuff and does start up a lot faster and seems to run faster. But there are, it just feels weird. I guess it's because it's new for me or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, another way to get to your control panel let's say that you start your computer this is all you see. You click desktop. If you right click right here, go to personalize, click change desktop icons, check computer, check user files, network, control panel. I check everything. I'm just I do that at work all the time. Just cuz I when I walk up to a person at work, I want to have access to, you know, whatever I need to get to on their computer. So that's one way to, you know, get in your control panel. Uh, open up your My Computer, get into stuff right there. Stuff that you're very familiar with. So how do you shut down? Um, I believe you right click. All apps maybe. Hey, gosh, I probably should have went over this before. This is embarrassing. Change PC settings. Oh gosh, no. Oh my god. You can tell I'm so new at this. I thought it was under all apps. Strange. I'm probably going to edit this out because I look like such a dope. Search devices settings. I know I saw this a second ago. Damn it! Oh, here it is. 
It's right in front of my face. All right, so let's go over that again. Uh, I guess I won't edit it out. Screw it. I wasn't prepared for this, obviously. Whatever. It's a test video. Leave me alone. All right, settings. And if you click power, you can go ahead and sleep, shut down, restart. And then, um, let's see, there's some weird change PC settings thing here. I'm getting some graphical errors right there, but um, there's just a lot of little options here. I haven't played with any of these, really. I guess I will in the future. So, anyway, that was my little uh, test video. I'll um, go ahead and do some more in the next few days. I'm going to go ahead, my next uh, long, long form video is basically testing out Windows 8's resiliency against um, zero day malware. And some of the best malware I can get right now comes straight out of my inbox. My ask us at remove-malware.com receives all kinds of goodies every day. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of that. I'm going to go ahead and test some of these malicious uh, attachments that we have right here in the future. And um, I may do that tomorrow night. I got like a little parent teacher conference thing, and uh, I might be free after that. So, anyway, I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys later.